right, good evening, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Welcome. This is Dr. Stacy Holweger, and I am so excited you are here with us this evening. I have a fantastic doctor that is going to be sharing some incredible information with you. So you're just going to have to hang tight here. Get your notepads out, get your pens. If you're a guest, Thank you for joining us for LifeWave Science and Technology Tuesday Night Zoom and of course our Q&A that comes a little bit later at the end. And for those of you that are watching the replay, you are in for a treat. So before I get started, let me share with you first of all that I am not a medical doctor. Dr. Weber is not a medical doctor. He's a naturopathic doctor. I'm going to share his bio in just a minute. I have a PhD in integrative and functional medicine, and so he and I focus in the holistic world, alternative types of healing modalities and tools and techniques and therapies and whatnot. He's going to go into all of his background and expertise, but just so you know, we aren't medical doctors, so we are not here to diagnose you, to claim to treat or cure you or prevent any types of diseases. We won't be discussing diseases tonight as we never discuss diseases, right? LifeWaves technology is all about helping the body get into balance in a way that helps the body in a natural manner. So with that, if you are pregnant or nursing on medications or anything else, please check with your practitioner or your healthcare provider if you have any questions in your health. So Dr. Jerry Weber is a naturopathic doctor who helps people heal naturally. He received his doctorate of naturopathy in 2008 and has been involved in natural health for over 30 years. He practices at Health and Wellness of Carmel and Carmel, Indiana. I'm personally from Evansville, Indiana, just a little farther south, so that's amazing. He is founder and co-creator of the Body Balance Healing System, a natural healthcare system using muscle testing, anatomy, and physiology to discover the root cause and correct it naturally. He's also founder and co-creator of Inner, is it Inner Guys? Is that correct? Inner, energize. Energize, Okay an imprinted frequency water product company that offers frequency imprints and tools. And I'll share these uh, websites and links for you guys. He has Thank written you. two books. You Can Heal Naturally, which is a step-by-step -step procedure of basic, intermediate, and advanced muscle testing using the body balance healing system. The second book is Resurrecting Your Life, which addresses the spiritual and mental concepts based on the teachings of Jesus. Dr. Weber is a new addition to LifeWave team. His personal satisfaction of the product is now being taught to each of his patients. And he now believes this technology is the foundation of health. So thank you so much, Dr. Weber, for being here with us tonight. We really appreciate you taking the time and pouring into our LifeWave community. We have hundreds on here this evening. Thousands will be watching the replay over the coming weeks. So can you take us back to the beginning? What made you decide to get into you know, naturopathic healing modalities in your practice? What do you do? I know we talked a little bit about gut health. Yeah. Uh, the other day and how you really focus on that and of course take us you know through that journey and then up to speed of of how life wave entered your life and why did you decide as a doctor to utilize this yourself and for your patients absolutely well thank you first dr stacy for inviting me to this wonderful conference and podcast um first off the reason that we are doing what we do is because is the only true way to heal. 42 years ago, 43 years ago, our, our daughter, Leslie, went in and had her first baby shots. Mm. Within 24 hours, she had 105 fever with and febrile convulsions. We took her back to the pediatrician as we were told to do, and, she, and they wanted to put her on an epileptic seizure medicine for seven years we said no we're not going to do it we walked out and we had the child protective services on our doorstep and thank goodness i knew the lady i said give me three months and we'll make this work and we found a gentleman in california and uh, his name jerry redding and he helped us she never had a problem she's now a healthy 43 year old or 44 year old almost so this is uh, where we started. 
And, uh, you know, you just, you, you always start in natural health when you've had a problem. And what's happening in the United States today, we're getting millions of people that have pain. We have millions of people that are on drugs. They want, they want to keep us off drugs, but yet every time you go into anything for the MD, you're going to get another drug that is toxic to the body. And we learned that very, very early. So we just started off through a lot of different companies and learning a little bit here, a little bit there, and so forth. So I was actually a national hair designer at the time. And uh, one time I, was, I, had, I had a huge clientele back in the 70s and 80s. And uh, one day, one of the network marketing companies came in, wanted me to become one of their, uh, one of their partners. And I really wasn't interested at all. But the lady that was with her said, well, let me show you something. And they first time in my life, I saw muscle testing. Mm -hmm. That was where it happened. I was already into natural health, but I didn't know about muscle testing. And for all of your viewers, muscle testing is a gift from God. Mm -hmm. It is your natural diagnostic tool that you can learn how to do yourself and take more, more uh, power into yourself. And that's what it's all about, to empower yourself with your natural health. You know, my son, Dr. Michael, and I both say this, health is wealth. May you prosper. Mm-hmm. And the only way you're going to prosper is to know how to communicate with your body and not give it over to somebody else. And that's what we learned through this journey. Okay. I am uh, 71, almost 72 years old. And I take no medications. And so what we're doing is we muscle test. We have many, many, many stories. We've done over 20,000 exams all over the United States. So that's kind of where we're at at that point. Okay. So we just kind of came up through that was a short story kind of, but that's where we started. And every one of us has some kind of story like that of what kicked us over into the alternative world. Mm -hmm. And really it's not alternative. No. It's really the truth. Yeah. It's really the, the main one. Uh, back in the 1940s and 1950s, the Rockefellers actually changed the whole concept for people. Before that, it was herbs. It was homeopathy, those kind of things that basically they, the, the, the whole world had been lied to, to sell pharmaceutical. Mm -hmm. And we have to stand up against that. And we're doing that uh, every day of our lives. All right. So that's kind of the introduction. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I'm 100% on board with all of that. I'm a huge muscle tester. I have been for years and completely agree with you. We say alternative, holistic, all natural, but that is the way it's always been. And Absolutely. unfortunately, things have changed, like you said, after the 40s. And some of those inventions and some of those drugs were important, right? Some of the things Absolutely. we Absolutely. But the narrative got changed. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you mentioned muscle testing, that you've been muscle testing for a long time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people muscle test. But what they don't have is they don't have a system. And a system is an A, B, C, one, two, three, that you can count on every single time to find the root cause. Mm -hmm. That's what my book, You Can Heal Naturally, is about. And that's what Dr. Michael and I teach constantly. And we are going to be in Florida a couple of times coming up this summer. And we will so, see you at our July event. You will be there for the doctor's panel, July 20th. So we're looking forward to that as well. well I'm very honored about that because uh, I was at another program the other night that was a LifeWave program. One of my friends, Dr. Phil Harris, uh, you, you probably know as well, uh, but uh, he was doing a program. I was there to support him and they heard that I might, I didn't tell him I was, but I didn't, ha didn't have the exact, but I said, we're in the process of talking about uh, being there. Are you going kind of deal? And they're going, oh my gosh, you came up fast. <laughs> it was like one of those, like, 
you know, I haven't been in, you know, too long. But let me tell you a little bit about that um, real quick, how I got here real quick. And I'm going to go in and talk about gut health. Okay. The way I got here is two and a half years ago, I was introduced to LifeWave. I'm a little slow. <laughs> no, really, really what happened on that was my, my wife of 46 years had just passed and uh, she transcended and in just a month or two month or so after that incident that I was still probably in shock mm -hmm. um, and grief, we had someone introduce us to that, to this, uh, to this whole program. And it honestly was just not the right timing. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that your audience knows that sometimes, you know, it's, you know, you, someone, someone says no now doesn't mean no forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just keep, t just kind of keep touching them with some, just some love, you know, don't, don't badger them, but just keep, just kind of love them. And uh, when they're ready, they'll come to you. That way you don't push. You always, you always, you don't push them. You pull and you pull in with love. And uh, so just short, just, just a, a short period of time ago um, through again, Dr. Phil introduced us to Amy Homsey and, uh, and Jack, and they, we've become friends. They invited us, Carol, my partner and I down to Florida. We did a program for them. And we were both having some pain, mm. you know, uh, Carol has a lot of pain flying and we, here we are flying a lot and so forth. And Amy and Jack were, were nice enough to, um, say, Hey, try the patches. Okay. Just try them. And I think that's the secret right there. <laughs> Just sharing them, mm. you know, uh, and they shared them and all of a sudden, you know, we we're only there for a few days, but they were making a difference. And so um, we both um, came home and talked about it. And we immediately uh, enrolled as platinum members, uh, both of us. Mm -hmm. So we just, uh, we were, uh, we're, we are not, we're not married, we're partners. So legally we can do that in LifeWave and we can kind of double up a little bit there, can't we? Yes. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of where we are. Uh, the reason that I did come on was because I was getting results. The what way patches I got re were you using? I know they're going to ask uh, me, what were you, what were you sure. using Carol, for the pain? What did right. you start off with? Well, of course, we always started off with the X39. Mm -hmm. And that's the only one that I was using for a while. But then I really got turned on to the energy enhancers. Mm -hmm. Because there is some things in muscle testing that we can do. Matter of fact, in, on August 3rd, which we'll talk about, we're going to be uh, bringing out two different measurements you can do in muscle testing now to actually prove about the stem cell. Mm, wow. Uh, oops, okay. wasn't supposed to say that. But <laughs> oops. Uh, anyway, the, the cell activity. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to be talking about that on August 3rd. Uh, at our program. So even if you're a muscle tester, mm -hmm. okay, you should come to that because we're going to do this a little bit. Uh, but and if you're not a muscle tester, we're going to take that first amount of time and go over our exact process of what we do muscle testing wise. And then we're going to take it into a deeper one for you people that already are major muscle testers. And I guarantee you, I don't care what level of muscle testing you are at at this moment, we will take you to the next level. Wonderful. So, so come out, come down and see us here in Tampa. Okay, so let's go move on. Let's go into how you use this body balance healing system to find the root cause. That's what everyone talks about, right? Everybody, everybody, well, we're going to go to the root cause. And then they stick and they just give you a product. Okay, that's not how you find the root cause. Now, the one thing I would like to say about right now about LifeWay patches is here's how natural health is. And I've been in it for a long time. I feel, and this is me too. I'm talking about myself. We've been playing whack-a-mole. Okay. And I, we were talking about whack-a-mole when we were talking, right, Dr. Stacy? And um, 
if you don't know what mackerel mole, you know, you got to be a Hoosier like Dr. Stacy and I are. You know, we got to, in our fairs, we used to have this box with a bunch of holes in it. And and there would be a mole come up, this hole and then that hole and this hole and that hole. And I feel like that, you know, it's like, it's like, okay, let's, uh, okay, you got heartburn. Okay, over here. Now you got gut stuff. Okay, now you're, now you got this. And we're having to try to, to do all this. And I believe that where we're at right now with the patches is we set a foundation. Okay, we make, we, we get, use the stems, you know, all that just working by itself, letting it do its thing. And then whatever is left is what we work on. Mm -hmm. So it's going to make us look better <laughs> because I don't think the uh, patient or the client or the person is going to have to use as much stuff. And that's one of the biggest complaints I hear about natural alternative medicine or health is people are having to use too many things. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a the reason I'm in this is to help our patients get, of course, healthier, but also not have to use so much thing. So many, so many, I mean, people are bringing bags of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh my gosh, right? So mm -hmm. that's kind of what we're doing. And with our energized imprinted frequency water, uh, this is frequency. It's not even substance. So what we're talking about is almost the same and both LifeWave and, and our Energize program work together like a hand in a glove because all of it's about light and frequency and it's all together like that. And that's why I'm here. Like and the that. other third reason I'm here, there's another, one more reason, David Schmidt. Mm. I started listening to every one of his YouTubes, including your, including yours. Okay. And this, this guy is so smart because like a lot of you, I am a lifetime student. Yep. And sometimes it's hard to find the right person to really start getting more information. And through muscle testing, you can test true or false. It's real simple. And David's testing true. And I like his spiritual approach. Okay. Those are some of the things that the reason that I'm there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have to tell you a real quick story that just happened. Okay. Dr. Michael, my son, who's a naturopath, we're talking to him and I didn't want to shove remember shove this onto him and so he's been watching some of the videos and seeing things like this and i had an x39 patch on and i was on the road so i didn't have any with me i said that's probably a sin i should be carrying them with me and i don't because i'll be in Andy, back into andy tomorrow uh but anyway i had an x39 patch on that i had worn for 12 hours or close to 12 hours mm -hmm. And he was having a little bit of issue. And I said, I'll tell you what, it's worn. I took it right off, gave it to him. He wore it and told me today he could tell the difference. Wow. In a, in a partially used X39, that was all it was. And he was able to tell a difference. I mean, he knows his body well, but he could tell the difference just in a, a few hours. Mm -hmm. And that is the reasons I'm here. Wow. That makes sense. There's a little bit left in that patch when we take it off about 12 to 14 hours worth. So taking it off and passing it to him is the same as taking it off and passing it to our dog. Same ish, right? <laughs> we pass it to our yeah. dog, to our cat. There's a little bit left. They get some benefit. There's a little bit left. Right. And he got the benefit he needed. That is fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And with that, he'll be joining us, and and that's that's wonderful. And and uh, so now let's go into gut health. Yes. All right. The first thing I like to say about this is I don't think probably hardly anybody out here that's been to a medical doctor 
can say that they talk to them about their digestion. Mm. And if they do, they're going to send you to a specialist. Which then they're, then they're going to scope and they're going to do this and that. But nobody talks to or, or even talks about digestion of is, uh, is the protein digesting properly? Is the fats, are the fats being digested properly? Are the proteins, uh, is the sugar, all of these, are they being digested? So what, uh, so about down your area, and I was telling you a little bit about that story in Louisville, I was, uh, I was uh, doing a program for about 50 natural health professionals, different professionals. And my first PowerPoint was, you are what you eat. <laughs> so I asked him, I said, how many of you believe this? And over half their hands went up that they believed it. And these were professionals that were out there helping other people. But yet, how important is protein digestion? It's, it's, it's uh, the utmost importance. So my, my next PowerPoint at that program, the next one was a big red nose, about as large as I could get it, because here's why. You have to digest it. You have to absorb it through the GI tract. It has to be transported to the liver. It has to be metabolized in the liver. I call that humanizing it. Mm -hmm. And then sending it to the cell. And the cell has to accept it in the receptors. So... Every nutrient, every has to go through that process. That's why energize and that's why stem cells are the way to go because they don't have to go through that process. It doesn't have to go through any of that process, neither one of them. So, all right. So what if a person's not, how do you know, first off, if you're not digesting protein? Well, if you, of course, muscle tested, all you have to do is ask yourself, am I digesting my protein? But what if you don't, what if you don't muscle test? I'm going to go back to one of my mentors. My main mentor always said this. I feel sorry for people who can't muscle test. So if you really, um, really want to get into natural health, muscle testing is a big, big, big deal in this. All right. So if we go back to this protein now. Once you find out if you're not muscle testing, there's a couple ways you can usually tell if you are not digesting protein. One of them is bubbles in your urine. Hmm. Okay, so if you see bubbles in the urine that look like fish eggs, especially, uh, you know, us guys, it's pretty easy. You girls, it might be a little more difficult. But if you pay, pay a little bit more attention, to that urine to make sure that there's no fish bubbles in there, um, uh, like frog eggs kind of thing, and that they don't bust, that's excess protein. Mm. So that's a way to look at that. Are you belching, bloating, burping? Okay, and here's why. Because when you don't digest protein, what happens is that undigested protein goes down into the gut. And guess what it does? It's about almost 100 degrees of heat, and it's sitting there doing what? Mm -hmm. Rotting. Yeah. Just rotting. That's it. And when that, when that food starts rotting down in your GI tract, it produces gas, which is going to come up. If you're having flatulence, that's another story. But if you're going up through the GI tract here right now, that's what that's about. There's three steps of protein digestion, and all three of these steps are in my book, You Can Heal Naturally, that Dr. Stacy mentioned, okay? But these are, your protein has to, first off, be broken down with hydrochloric acid and pepsin, which turns into pepsinogen. Okay, you have to have that hydrochloric acid to change that pepsin into pepsigen, which really does the breakdown. Now, if you're not digesting your protein, you're also not breaking down your minerals. Okay, so that's because you have to have that, that first step 
and that is the acid in the stomach. Now, a lot of people, um, okay, so they might, if they say, okay, if you're a certain age, you know, first off, the, one of the biggest problems is MDs putting people on these different proton pump inhibitors. Mm -hmm. You know, they automatically put them on that. If you go in and tell a doctor that you're having, say, heartburn, for instance, they automatically will try to put you on one of those. That is the one of the one of the worst things you can do for your body because you have to have amino acids for everything in your body. Every tissue, every enzyme, every everything. Especially your neurotransmitters in your brain. Say so that is so important. So if it's not if you are not, if your hydrochloric acid is not correct, this is where our body balance healing system comes in. Dr. Michael and I, what we do virtually as well as in Carmel, but we do, we're in, we're in I don't know, 25 or so states doing programs. We can tell you exactly why that's not happening, why that is not working properly. And we can, we can suggest a way to correct it naturally. And it's not guesswork. It's not like, let's try this and or let's try that. What we do has been tested over and over and over hundreds of times. We know what it is. When you have a problem, it's either going to be a toxin, a parasite, tissue damage, nutritional deficiency, or hopefully I can say this one, spike protein. <laughs> we'll just let it slide on through. All right, good job. <laughs> All right, so there's the first step. That's the first one. Remember, there's three steps of protein digestion. The second one most of us know about called protease. Okay, that's a pretty easy one. Protease comes from the pancreas, comes across the pancreatic duct, comes into the duodenum area, and basically helps break down after the hydrochloric acid and all that has done its business, then it comes down and starts going into those enzymes. The one that most people don't know about is in the disaccharides. These are enzymes down in the gut that's being uh, produced out of the microvilli. And there's two of them. One is called chymotrypsin, C-H-Y-M-O, and the other one is trypsin, T-R-Y-P-S-I-N. Chymotrypsin and trypsin are, is the third part of finalizing the amino acids down to the perfect eight essential amino acids. That is your protein digestion. So if you're not, if your hydrochloric acid is not working properly, I would suggest adding some betaine ACL. Now, when you add the betaine HCL, you do it in the middle of the meal. You start with one and you increase per meal until you get a warm stomach. After you get the warm stomach, you won't like me at that moment, okay? It'll feel kind of yucky there for a minute, but you'll know you've hit your hydrochloric acid limit and you back off to one. Uh, back off one so basically if you go up to three or four let's say you go up to four and four kind of makes it burn a little bit you then your perfect one would be three if you do that one for a while then you go back and it starts burning you go back to two but it's not fixing the problem ladies and gentlemen that's not fixing the problem what we have to do is go through our system and say okay this is whatever it may be we use a frequency system to find that. In my book, You Can Heal Naturally, you'll find that frequency system for you advanced muscle testers. So the, the book is really good because no matter if you know if you know nothing about energy work, which I don't think there's too many on here that don't, that don't, but it starts off with let there be light. We love that one, don't we? Let there be light. <laughs> Phototherapy, yeah, that's yeah, absolutely. All the um, 
So let's go in now to the next part, okay? Once that protein is digested properly, it has to go to the liver. And then the liver has to metabolize it, which takes three amino acids. They're all different. But those three amino acids actually break down that to where the cell can recognize it to use it. And then one of the big things that my son, Dr. Michael, works on is receptors. I remember him talking to an MD because uh, we work with MDs in our office. And uh, when he was there and he was trying to explain receptors to an MD. And this MD had to look him up <laughs> to understand what he was trying to talk to him about. Wow. Okay. So that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. All right. Oh, sorry. We had a call come in. Okay, so now let's move on. Uh, if those receptors, okay, if the receptors are not working properly, then again, what we have to do is use our body balance healing systems, frequency system, or we figure out. So in other words, if someone's having a problem, is it glyphosate? Is it heavy metals? You know, is it? All of these possibilities, including a new one that maybe some of you have heard about, some have it, called virus corpses. Mm. Virus corpses are one of the big deals out there that energize. We work with all the time and uh, we can get rid of them. But if you've had COVID and Corona and all those kind of viruses, this is kind of like, I believe, one of the reasons for the long haul COVID problems is these virus corpses. In other words, the person's not testing that they have COVID or even maybe Corona like the flu, but there's still junk there. That's these virus corpses. And if you wanna learn more about those, the person who taught me that was the medical medium. Okay, the medical yeah. medium um, in chapter three of his first book, he'll tell you about virus corpses. And I test everything. And what Dr. Michael and I do when we test something or listen to something, we're testing whether that information is true or is it false. Mm -hmm. And so when we come up with information that we like, then what we're going to do is say, okay, is that a true statement? And the universe always knows. Okay. All you have to do is ask God and the Holy Spirit, and you always will get the right answer. Period. Always. Okay. So there, that kind of gives you an idea of how protein works throughout. Now, uh, so let's go in and talk about some of the things that a lot of people are having trouble with in, in the gut. Okay. And one of those is inflammation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first thing you want to do if someone has inflammation in the GI tract, okay, is first off an EM patch. Yeah. After the X39. So you do the X39 and the EM patch. Those are the two that I would start off with and then find something that uh, soothes the GI tract, but there's a reason. Why is it inflamed? Why is it inflamed? You know, someone says, well, you got inflammation. Oh, thanks. It's kind of like a doctor telling you, you got arthritis. <laughs> All right, doc, you know, okay, arthritis. Itis meaning inflammation, arthro meaning joint. You're now telling me I got, I knew that. That's why I'm here. But they don't give you another reason. In our body balance healing system, we tell you, Okay, your synovial fluid's low. Okay, why? Because the synovial membrane has paraquat in it. How are we going to get it out? This is how we get it out with DTX2. We know how to do it every time. Okay, then you've got to check also, it, are you able to get the toxin out? If you can't get the toxin out, so in other words, someone might say, okay, this is the product I need for this. Yes, okay, great, but are you able to utilize the product? Is it beneficial? It's a big part of this muscle testing program is not just find out what you need, but is it beneficial? Okay. All right. So the next area is leaky gut. Okay. Leaky gut is a huge deal because that is what's setting up a lot of all these autoimmune system problems. Mm -hmm. the, the autoimmune system issues the only one of the reasons i i didn't believe in autoimmune for a long time because they were putting so much 
uh, so many problems in that category. You know, it's kind of like mm-hmm. I hear these people coming in and they got an autoimmune, they got an autoimmune, they got an autoimmune kind of deal. It's kind of like they all they get them all on antibiotics. Mm-hmm. Okay, they all had autoimmune. So I started thinking about it and leaky gut is definitely one of the reasons for an autoimmune problem because what happens is the junction cells basically get damaged because of usually here we go ladies and gentlemen you won't like this one (laughs) gluten Mm -hmm. but here's another one for for you advanced people and for everybody here if you're testing gluten okay that's great but are you testing gliadin? Mm. Okay. This is what we do. We take you to that next step because if you're, if, if, if a person's got inflammation in that gut, check for gluten. They go, oh, you're okay on gluten. You're strong on gluten. No problem. Check gliadin. Boop. All mm. of a sudden, now you know you're getting better. You're getting more accurate because what we always say, a general question or statement gets a general answer Mm -hmm. the more specific the question or the more specific that that is then or the statement is you're going to get more specific that's why our body balance healing system is so good because we take you down into that into that anatomy and that physiology down to the cell level yeah okay all right so using, um, you know, getting that, getting that gut right is a big, big part of your health. And one of the last things on the gut that I'll uh, speak about tonight is also the gut-brain connection. Mm. The gut-brain connection is so important. And here's why. For every message that the brain sends to your gut, the gut is sending back to the brain nine messages. That's solid research. Okay, that's, um, that. uh, there's a great book that I'm actually reading right now. I'm getting ready to go on a flight, a long flight I'm taking it with me called Why Is My Brain Not Working? Mm. Great book, okay? Uh, But that is a, Maybe we can come back and talk about brain health some whenever, maybe down the road, because it is one of the most important things. Because if your brain's not working, you don't want to be alive. Okay, because that brain's running your whole body. Okay, so that brain is is so important. And uh, that's why we made Brain Plus and New that we're getting incredible testimonies on, uh, on the Brain Plus and New from Energize. So, but the, that hot, that whole gut brain deal. Now, the one reason that a lot a lot of people are having a problem with is they've been on antibiotics. Mm-hmm. Okay, so all of a sudden, all of these messengers that are down in the gut trying to talk to your brain basically gets destroyed, and we have to rebuild them. And we were just talking to someone at the office a couple of days ago about all this, but. You know, here they, they, you, you, you try to put a probiotic in. Well, how many strains of bacteria are actually in a probiotic? A dozen, 15. They might tell you that there's a trillion in it. In the, uh, 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 and then are they alive or not? That's the next question. But the thing about it is, ladies and gentlemen, there's probably at least 500 different strains of bacteria in the gut so kefir is good um i i use a lot of the ion gut help that helps something to rebuild not replace you can use a replacement of a probiotic but you also need something that will basically rebuild all the all all the terrain like carrie reeves uh all, uh, Kerry Reams always said, it's all about the terrain. Yeah. And that's what we're talking about tonight is getting the terrain correct. You do that through what your, what, uh, what your patches do. That's mm-hmm. how you start rebuilding the terrain. 
-hmm. and things like this. And then you got to get away from eating foods that are causing the inflammation. Okay. Well, what's the first one? The first one basically is like we already talked about the gluten, the gliad, the gliadin, the dairy. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's probably too many people on this, on this call tonight. That's probably doing cow milk, but if you are, you shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Hopefully you're not go to almond milk, whatever you're, and you know, what's really great muscle test, which one's right. Almond, hemp, coconut, whatever it may be, but something else besides um, cow milk. And if you have to go that way, of course, goat milk would be, would be better. But just remember, we are not calves. Okay. We are the only species that drinks another person's, another species milk. Okay. So that's some of the things that will really help the gut. Okay. Get that inflammation down. Absolutely. We've got to, yeah. we've got to make those changes dietary and we're all different. So what works for one person, some people may be able to handle coconut milk and others, it may be that it's, you know, almond milk and others, some people do raw cow milk, you know, and that's very healing for some people. So I think it's, it's everyone. And that's why muscle testing is really great when you know how to do it and you trust it and you believe, right. It obviously you're, you've tried and true with your method. Then you can say, this one is the most beneficial for me. This is what serves my body's highest good at this time. Doesn't mean it's always going to be that way, right? Things change as our bodies change, but being able to, to trust yourself and be able to go on this journey with probably initially a practitioner, uh, but then of course, getting to where you can say, you know what, this is what's best for me. Like I don't, I've never bought any supplement or, you know, type of, of nutrient that I'm buying an herb or something else, unless I muscle test it first and I'll stand right there in the store. No one knows I'm even doing it, <laughs> but same well, thing for my kids. I've always muscle tested everything that I've purchased for them to make sure that it's what serves their highest good at that point in time right now. And I think that's really important that it's a piece in the puzzle of you taking ownership in your health, right? There's a lot of information out there. It can be overwhelming. It can be daunting, especially if it's not your, you know, cup of tea to dive into the world we're into. So it's it's definitely take baby steps with it if you need to, you know, just get your foot wet, get your other foot wet <laughs> before you jump both feet in at the same time. It really is a blessing that to, to have it. And you have that confidence to know you don't have to question it. You know, which one should I use this product or this product? You know, which one's going to be the best? Uh, I don't know. And you start trying to try and look at the labels and all of that, you know. And in muscle testing, it's about energy. It's about what creates a better energy for you. Mm -hmm. And what, what is causing problems in your energy? What takes away that energy? And that's what muscle testing does. It's just basically a... Uh, I call it a lie detector for the body. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You mentioned something earlier too, about people having, you know, basically countertops full of, or bags full of, you know, bottles of different stuff. And when we started patching three years ago, Laura and I, you know, had that conversation about her, she had tubs. You know, she had cured herself of stage three, you know what? And so a few years before we found out about LifeWave, so she had tubs of containers of things that she sure. had been taking to keep herself in that healthy, well state. She had done it naturally. And so when we, I don't even know how long we were patching, maybe three months, six months at the most, maybe the max. Uh, and she said, can you come over and muscle test and see which ones of these I need or don't need? Because I feel like there might be some that I don't need anymore. And we were able to eliminate what, Laura, all but three or four of them? Yeah, we eliminated three and it was about six months after patching. Okay. Yeah. That's so fabulous. Three. Yeah. I mean, we got rid of a tub full of stuff that her body, because of using the X39, the Eon, glutathione, of course, um, you know, for that gut, we were able to, she was able to uh, absorb and digest and assimilate nutrients in such a way that her body wasn't needing those things anymore as an outside source. And it was, you know, that's, that's huge too. When you look at that, I don't know how much you saved Laura, but I remember it was 
significant monthly. I was spending probably every six to eight weeks, anywhere between eight to a thousand dollars, eight hundred to a thousand dollars every six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just like the glutathione patch that you're talking about. I mean, right there. I mean, that's an expensive herb, uh, expensive, expensive supplement. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just patch and it's better anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you take an exogenous source, I mean, you're only going to really elevate that glutathione about 20 to 23 percent by using our patch you actually leave it on 12 hours but it elevates your own glutathione glutathione is a tripeptide so it elevates your own glutathione over 300 percent sustaining it for a 24-hour period so you can actually patch every other day or every third day even if you want it's a fantastic detox but it's huge if you know anything about your immune system the majority of it resides in your intestinal tract and so that's what glutathione does it helps to boost that immune system and help your body to you know eliminate those free radicals that are causing you know harm and damage inside of your body so dr weber we've got about 13 minutes left and we have a lot of guests on here this evening right we're creeping up over there almost to 600 people on here and a lot of people would which this, they're all, you know, messaging, private messaging me. Oh my God, this is incredible information. <laughs> Tell me what, how do you spell this? What does this mean? So they're, we're trying to answer all the questions we can, but can you share for those of us, the people that are on here that are guests, can you share for them? How does this technology work? How does this patch work? Do you mind sharing that? Because some people don't know. Okay. Well, are you talking about muscle testing or patches themselves? Just the patch. How does the patch okay. itself work? Okay. Well, here you're asking, uh, as, as you know, you know this a lot better than I do, but I will tell you what I know. Okay. I and, first off, you know. and first off, it's not a transdermal patch. Correct. That's, that's number one, because we have been used to having transdermal patches used. Mm -hmm. No question about that. But what this is, it's a reflection. So on each patch, there is a certain uh, configuration of crystallization and amino acids and peptides. And this it sends a message as the our own light, which comes from the DNA. Okay? It, it comes from the DNA, and it basically is infrared. And so this infrared uh, heat that comes off of us that can be you can see this in, in infrared cameras, this heat that comes up to the skin when you have this patch on, it basically, uh, I would say, uh, reflects that mm -hmm. back in to the body with a new message. And this new message is in each of the patches. And what it does is it basically turns on certain genes that we have lost over aging, so some gene, some genes that are on, okay, that shouldn't be on, and there's certain genes that should be on that isn't. So the combination of patches are sending in different messages for the body. And that's kind of how I understand how it works. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And so they want to know, when I put this patch on, I put this on in the morning, right? My body's light or heat hits that, reflects back that very specific wavelength of light, enters my body, elevates a peptide, right? Starts that process, like you said, of upregulating genes or resetting genes. So how long do I leave this patch on? And when I take it off, because I know you said you mentioned earlier for, you know, everyone listening, you gave it to your son. When you take it off, you put on a new one the next day. So how yes. long do people have to wear them and what would they expect from patching? Should they expect something like your son on day one right away? Is that normal? Or what do people normally sure. expect the patch? Well, well, first off, everyone is different. So, you know, you're going to have to kind of feel your body. And that's one of the things that we always are talking about is learning your body. And when you learn your body, some people, you know, that the normal standard is, of course, as we all know, is a 12 hour patch. Mm -hmm. But some people might not be able to do that because they might be more sensitive for some reason. Now, normally, I don't think that'll happen because we're not putting anything in. But if you see that, and I think in Dr. Stace has a lot more and, and the other ladies have a lot more experience at this than I do. But some people actually have to put it on less time. Mm hmm. Also, if you're having an issue, say, and you're putting it like, say, where Dr. Stacy has hers, 
and you have an issue there maybe, try the bottom part of the body instead of the top part of the body. That's another thing that you can do. But you've got to kind of work through this and find what is the best for you. I wear X39 for 12 hours approximately during the day. I'm always, I don't ever wear the X39 at night, okay? Then I also wear, like I was saying earlier, I love the energy enhancers because what I found out was I see about 12 to 15 patients a day is what I see. So a lot of times by my three o'clock or so, I'm having a, like, I start at 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm going all day, every half hour, I'm seeing patients. Every every half hour, I'm I'm meeting people, fight, going through the body balance healing system and giving them answers every 30 minutes with no brain rest pretty much, okay? By three o'clock, I was getting pretty tired. I started using the energy enhancers with my X39 and I wasn't getting that drag. Matter of fact, I was out in, at dinner at eight, nine o'clock at night and thinking, I'm not tired. Mm. So I like that. Well, I use glutathione a lot of times, uh, or in both of those at night. I like, I, I just, that's what feels good to me. I've tried it both ways. Mm -hmm. I like, because I also believe that the body is healing more at night. So I want to, to let it work at night. Uh, but yeah, everything uh, has done well. And that's kind of, but that's what you have to do is 12 hours on, 12 hours off, mm -hmm. but find that right spot for you. See, play with it, you know, play, just play with it and find everything. Everybody is individual. So find your individual, but start with the basics and see how they do for you. Yeah, we always start with our X39. You mentioned the Eon for helping to reduce inflammation. We know that brings our nervous system into balance. It's another fantastic patch to start with. We call that the dynamic duo with that X39 and Eon. And, you know, we like you said, everyone is different. Sometimes people do feel something on day one. I know mm -hmm. I didn't. It was three weeks before I felt anything. And it really wasn't anything that significant, you know, just a little bit more energy in the gym and, you know, faster processing in my brain. But everyone typically experiences maybe let's just say around three to six weeks in, some pain reduction, a little bit better quality sleep, reduction of brain fog, right? Their brains get sharper, right? A little bit more mental clarity, focus, concentration. People notice better sleep, a deeper REM sleep. And of course, if they have any kind of accidents or injuries, you know, we see a 40% reduction in that heel time right away. So those are pretty common in the beginning, but, you know, this is not something that's meant to work just, you know, for a day or for three weeks or for six weeks. This is designed for you to use based on your age as a starting point, at least one month for every decade you are old. That's really important that you give your body the time to wake up those master cells that are responsible for the repair and the regeneration in your body. And that compound effect is very real. And the more you patch, the more consistent you are with that patching day after day, week after week, month after month, you're going to see the compound results in the body healing itself. And that takes time, right? You mentioned root cause at the very beginning. And I mm -hmm. love what you said about the root cause and using these patches, the X39 that activates those master cells because that those cells are they're what are going to go and find whatever the issues are in the body and get down to the root right get down to the main issue can you talk a little bit about if someone has a chronic issue right they've had they've dealt with something for you know a couple of years four years 10 years 20 years chronic issue how long do you think or what would you recommend on patching for them obviously i know depending on what their chronic issue is but sure. expectation-wise, if something is has been going on a lot longer, sure, I'll be glad to. Um, first off, when you have a chronic problem, what basically is is you have not addressed the root cause of it. Okay, everyone has thrown something at you for however long, and you've tried other things, but you really have not got down to the root cause. 
So what you have heard me say tonight is, and you probably already are maybe using the X39, that's where you want to start. And also the EN, the dynamic duo. Uh, those are the two that I would highly start with. If you're in severe pain, uh, we haven't talked about it a lot tonight, ice wave. Okay. So the ice wave is, is really a neat prod. I, I like it. Um, my partner uses ice wave quite a bit and it's helped her with her sleep and so forth. But here's the other part of this. Uh, this is our body balance healing system plug here. You need an exam. <laughs> okay. Because stem cells and I'm sorry, maybe I said it again, the cells okay, that we work with is not going to fix everything. Okay. I mean, I think it's fabulous, no question about it, but you still need a good natural health exam to see what's causing the problem. Is it circulatory? Is it digestive? Is it intestinal, glandular, immune? Is it lymph? Is it nervous system? Is it reproductive, respiratory, structural, urinary? Is it the fascia? Is it soft tissue? Is it emotional? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All That's those things. Component. Yeah, all of those things were are what Dr. Michael and I work with and that we can help any of you with this chronic problem, but guaranteed, I want you definitely on X39, in for sure, those two for sure. And, of course, it's, and it's really uh, what you are having issues with. If it's, the, if it's the big C, okay, if it's the big C, glutathione is added. If you're having GI tract problems, glutathione should be added. If you have pain, then you go with X39, in, and ice wave. Those are kind of the basics of starting that foundation. And then what we will do is we'll take from the foundation and find out what is not working properly, and we will correct it naturally. Mm-hmm. I love that. That that's really important. And you know, when people go to their traditional allopathic doctor, a lot of times, not always, because you know, last week I had three medical doctors on here. So, you know, they're all about root cause and getting, you know, the body back in balance. But a lot of times what people are dealt with is no one's interested in the root cause. They're interested in another prescription or another procedure or another test or another referral to another doctor to do another test for another procedure or another prescription. And people want to get to the bottom of their problems. They want their bodies to heal. They want to feel like they did before all of this started, whatever caused it, whether it was an accident or something mm -hmm. traumatic or whatever you know and i'm i'm all on board i totally agree with you and using the yeah. techniques that you do to help get to the root of the problem is very important and it's so i've shared your website a lot in there i know everyone's asked but i've shared you know the links and stuff over and over again for people in the chat i actually want this is recorded of course and i will be uploading this on my youtube channel so i will put all of those links in the youtube description as well so if you're watching you. this recording and you can't happen to see it in the chat for whatever reason, <laughs> it's all good. Sorry. Sorry. yours is big, mine is little. Lucky she's not barking. Normally it's her barking tonight. Um, but I'll definitely put the links in the description so you guys can have those as a reference as well. Because you know you do want to get to the bottom of your problem. We want answers to our you know what's going on with us and what's happening in our body and. You know, using our patches is a fantastic way to be able to uh, bypass, you know, like he said, using a lot, a lot of bottles and containers and things like that, but being able to help the body to heal naturally and getting down to the, the root of what's going on. So thank you so much for being on here tonight with me, Dr. Weber. I appreciate you taking the time out of your evening and sharing. I know Amy has shared in the chat as well. Um, the And I think she just sent me the flyer. I saw something pop across my phone. Um, so I'll include that information in the uh, description as well, too. Uh, but I know everyone got so much value out of tonight. Um, you know, the gut is so important and being able to, you know, teach us and, and give us your your wisdom and, and your knowledge on that is just it's priceless. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here this evening and, and well, pouring into our LifeWave community. 
Well, thank you so much. I do apologize. I got a 150 pound cane corso that got excited. So I'm sorry about that. Beautiful but, box. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, but thank you so much, uh, Dr. Stacy, and all the people here. Uh, you know, natural health is where to be. Uh, Life wave is where to be. Uh, and we want, we just want to be part of that family. So if we can help you, please let us know. And I hope to see you and come up and say hi to me uh, in Orlando. And yes. come to our August 3rd class with Amy. I'm, and yes. thank you so much. God bless you. And again, remember health as well. Make thank you. Prosper. Thank you, Dr. Weber. Thank you, everyone. Have a fantastic evening.